Welcome to Progressive Automation's YouTube channel. Today we're showing our PA25 and PA25A control box. Essentially, these are both the same control box. The PA25A, we just include an AC power adapter, so you can plug it into your regular home outlet. Uh, the PA25 by itself is designed to be working with a DC battery, so your car battery or any DC, 12 volt DC power supply. Um, I've already have it connected up here. I have it connected to the AC15 power adapter. It's connected to the input side of the control box. I have both actuators control connected to each of its individual inputs. Now, the benefit for the PA25A or the PA25 is that it applies power to both actuators simultaneously, but if you have an application where your weight distribution isn't exactly perfect, then uh, the unit that's taking on a little bit more weight will run at a slower pace than the, the one that's taking on less weight. And uh, the built-in speed adjusters that the PA25 has will allow you to slow down the faster unit just a little bit so, it, uh, so both units finish at the same time and they lift at the same rate. Now the PA25 comes included with two remotes, a white one and a black one. Uh, one can be used as spare, they're both synced in if you want to use them both. So I'm just going to show you an example of how it works. You have up, down, and stop. You hit the up button. They both extend. You can stop at any point. You can retract at any point. Now, again, with the speed adjustment. So I'll hit the up button, and you can bring one to a complete stop, or just a crawl, or full speed. You can't go any faster than the rated speed of the actuator, but you can do the speed control with both of them. Then come to a stop, or do whatever you wish to do. Now the other benefit with the PA25A is uh, some people prefer to use it momentary, which means you hold down on the button as long as you want the actuator to move. It, once you let go of the button, the actuator stops. So I'm going to show you how to make that change real quick. I've already unscrewed the top of this control box. Uh, if you look right over here, you'll see a little jumper pin. Now I'm going to take it out here. You'll see right beside it, it's labeled CN1, CN2. What you need to do is take this jumper pin and have it horizontally over CN1. So both pins over CN1 need to be covered with the jumper. And then basically, it turns the control box into momentary mode, which basically means you hold on the button, the actuator extends, you let go, it stops in both directions. So the stop button no longer works, it's just the up and down button. Now, this is very popular for applications where you don't think you're going to be able to hit the limit switch on the actuator and you want to stop prior, then momentary is the best way to go. If you have any questions about this unit, you can always visit our website at www.progressiveautomations.com or give us a call at 1-800-676-6123.